Welcome back to SnowRunner, y'all, and in this video, we're actually going to be changing up our approach to this particular RP series. Now, for the past few episodes, we've been doing a lot of recoveries, we've been doing a lot of hauling, and in this episode, we're going to actually change it up to something that's a little bit more simple, yet still, I think, really, really interesting. So what I've decided to do is I've actually decided to start a, basically a landscaping slash mowing slash maintenance service here on this map in this roleplay. And for our first part of it, we got to go ahead and hook our trailer up and head over to the dealership to pick up our lawnmower. Now, we've already got a couple of different jobs that we're going to need to do, a couple different yards. But without any further ado, let's go ahead and grab the truck. We'll get on over there. And I actually, because a lot of the recoveries and heavy hauling, uh, let's just say... We had, uh, we had some pretty good, uh, we, we, we picked up some pretty good jobs with those. I picked up a new truck to help us out with this endeavor, and it is this. This is a brand new Nissan Frontier Pro 4X, and this thing is awesome. It's got a mild suspension lift, it's got 35s, it's got Method 106 race wheels, and it's gonna be perfect to haul our little mower around with. Now... I will say, once we start getting a little bit bigger, or if we buy, like, a bigger tractor or something like that, obviously, I'm gonna want to upgrade to a truck with a little bit more oomph, a little bit more torque, but this thing, for now, does great. So, let's fire it up and get hooked up to our trailer. Now, our trailer is right over there. I did buy a equipment trailer the other day because I kind of knew we were gonna need one moving into something like this, but we've already got, like I said before, a couple of different jobs that we need to do right out of the gate. One is just a typical, like, yard mowing job and then the other one is kind of it's a little bit different it's a little bit more along the lines of partially mowing and partially like I would almost call it brush removal because basically what they want done is they want their yard mode and then they also want some brush removed like from the back and sides of their yard so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go grab our mower and I probably should have bought the mower before I uh, promised these uh, these services to these people but it's fine we're about to go pick it up anyway, so don't worry about it. And if you guys are enjoying these role plays in SnowRunner, make sure to let me know in the comment section down below, as it really helps me out just to know what you guys want to see here on the channel in the future. Now, ooh, I actually really dig the setup on that house. I dig it a lot. Dude, I'd be all about, like, if we ever moved on this map, there's a lot of houses that I would totally be interested in moving to. All right, now we could go get coffee first, but I've already got the trailer hooked up, so I'm not gonna worry about getting coffee. All right, so let's make our way on down to the dealership, which is literally right down the road. And what I really like about this truck, especially with the setup that's on it right now, is that you can just cruise along in, you know, fifth, sixth gear, and it's just super, super chill. What I have on it right now is actually the middle of the road set up for the engine, but with the highway transmission, and oh, dude, it's, it's absolute butter for just cruising around. Now, let me go ahead and park over here, and I'm gonna put the ramps down, and I think they're gonna bring my mower out in just a moment. And here it is! This is basically what's gonna get our lawn care company off the ground. And it might look a little bit out of the ordinary for your standard lawnmower, but don't worry about it. It's fine. All right, now let's see. The Frontier should handle towing this just fine. I wouldn't ask it to tow anything much heavier than this, but for this, I think it'll do a-okay. All right, let's go ahead and stop the engine. And I'll just make sure it's all secured down, and then we're gonna head off to our first job. That rear suspension is, uh, it's, it's squatting a little bit, but it's not enough to where I would go, oh my god, that's dangerous. So let's put the ramps back up. I said let's put the ramps back up. Oh, it dropped the tailgate. I'm like, why did you, why would you drop, the, there we, oh my god. All right, ramps, there we go. Actually, you know what? The suspension sits super level. I don't know what I was going on about. I guess because the ramps were down, it made the rear suspension sink more because it pressed the trailer ramps into the ground. All right, so our first one is just gonna be, oh dude, that looks so sick. That looks awesome though, look at that. Look at that, that's like, that's like the cover shot for our lawn service, that's amazing. All right, let's head on out to where we're gonna start our first job. Now, this one is super simple. It's basically just like mow a yard. And if we can't do that, well, 
we're not much of a lawn service if we can't mow a yard, I would say. So I, I think as long as we can do this, we're off to a good start. All right, let's make a quick right. And actually, funny enough, it's for the same person whose uh, Ford F-250 we recovered from the mud and basically rebuilt, and we ended up buying it from them at the end of the day. All right, let's pull on in here. What's up? All right, let's go ahead and unload the mower now because it's time to get all of this lawn cleaned up. So let's go ahead and get you unloaded. And dude, wow, you would think that when this this trailer's ramps are down, you would think that that truck's uh, rear suspension was absolutely maxed the heck out. Now, what they did say is that these bushes in the front, they wanted them gone because they wanted to start over again, which, I mean, hey, I, you know, it's not my yard, so I don't make the decisions, but, oh, they don't really want to come up, do they? Wow, they don't really want to come up, do they? We're gonna need a we're gonna need a stronger mower if we want to get these out of the ground. Yeah, look at that. All right, well I guess we'll just have to tell them that uh, that's not gonna work. Yeah, we'll just have to tell them that those were a little bit too stubborn. And now we're gonna finish the rest of our the rest of our rounds around this yard. Now, interestingly, even though Snowrunner doesn't have a technical quote unquote. Uh, grass cutting mechanic like let's say a game like farming simulator would you can actually see where the grass has gotten shorter as we've made passes back and forth so from a rp sense you technically can cut grass in this game it just doesn't present as being cut like technically it presents as being run over but, I mean, at the end of the day, it's actually, I mean, it's better than it not going anywhere at all. And it kind of actually gives you a result the more passes you make back and forth, as you can see. Because, you know, here on this side of the yard, we've made a few passes back and forth already. And you can see that it technically looks like something has been done. It's not clean cut by any means, but it does look like something has been done. And as we go around the backyard here you can see that where we've driven around the edge and kind of sectioned it off, there is a spot in the middle here where we could go back and forth if we wanted to until this whole entire area was basically done and basically cut. So I'm personally quite happy with how this has turned out, and I'm just happy that the game actually goes far enough to be able to show that kind of stuff. Like, again, I know it's not like a dramatic thing. It's not going to be you know, lawn mowing simulator or even farming simulator levels of accurate, but it does look like you did something, which is better than honestly a lot of games can say. And for a game that is so far away from being designed around mowing lawns, the fact that they allow you to actually see that you've done some type of lawn mowing is actually pretty freaking cool. I think it's pretty freaking cool to be honest. Now, I know that I'm kind of mowing in circles right now, and that's really bad and really, really, really not what you're supposed to do. Technically, now I'm just doing donuts in their backyard, but thankfully they're not home, so they can't yell at me. Uh, whoa, easy. I should probably actually be professional about this, because if I'm not professional about this, they probably won't have me come back. But, as you can see, we actually kind of, we actually kind of mowed the backyard. I'm, you know, I'm quite happy with that. I'm quite happy with the fact that we successfully mowed the backyard. That's really freaking cool. That, that's really freaking cool. The fact that that worked. I mean, look at that. You can see, look, look at the grass on the left. Look at the grass on the right. It actually kind of worked. And you know, I'm happy that it worked. Now, they do have this trailer in the way, and I'm not really sure what they want us to do with it. But we got the backyard, and we're just going to make a couple passes along the side of the house. And that trailer, I mean, we'll figure out what they want done with it, and then we'll come back and, you know, we'll come back and help them out with that later. The front yard over here, we've done most of this. I mean, we just got to get a little bit closer to the basketball hoop, and then that'll be... Ah, oh, don't flex on it. I know that we bought a off-roady mower, but the off-roadiness of this mower isn't exactly like it's great whenever you want to do some gnarly terrain or off-road mowing, but that's not exactly what this is. 
So we've done the side yard, this little bit of the backyard that's in the shade. I'll uh, I'll leave that for now. Not that I don't want to do a complete job, but there is a trailer there, and I'm not sure if they want me moving it, touching it, things like that. And we also have another job to get to now, and that is the sort of brush removal slash... Um, it's like half mowing, half brush removal. I just realized we haven't done this part, and we really need to. So I'm going to do this part real fast, like real fast. Turn you around. Bring you back this way. God, this is going to be a lot of back and forth, isn't it? It's going to be a lot of back and forth and a lot of up and down. All right, hold on. Back and back around the other way. All right, come on. Not bad. Ooh. Okay, well, we found out earlier that our mower wouldn't cut through those bushes anyway, so hitting them doesn't really put us at any kind of loss, so forget it. Run over them if you need to. Yep, now I'm, now I'm in, you know, I've gone from professional uh, landscaper to mowing maniac because I just need to get this place done. A bit of a tight corner there, just as long as you don't take out their... Oh, God! I'll pay for the fence post. I'm sorry. Yep, I'll pay for the fence post. I really didn't want to eat the cost of a fence post, but apparently I'm going to have to because, again, you know, mowing maniac, but don't worry about it. Oh, God. Ugh. Yep, yep, it's fine. It's fine. But look at that! The yard is actually basically cut. It's basically done. And I'm very... You know what? I'm happy with that. I'm very happy with that. It's starting to grow back already, but don't worry about that. Don't look at that. Don't look at the fact that it's starting to grow back already. It's fine. Oh, man. All right, we got to get to our next job now, but dude, I'm loving this little setup. This setup's great. All right, we're pulling up to the next job now, and they don't necessarily want the yard mowed or anything like that. They just want those trees over there by the one that has already turned color, the one that's starting to get red and everything like that. The smaller trees around it, they want those removed. So I'm going to see if we can get them out. I'm not sure, but we're definitely going to try. We're definitely going to try and see if we can get them out. So I'm going to pull a little bit close to the house because I would rather not... Uh, put my ramps down into the street because if I can avoid putting my ramps down into the street, I I will. So let's see if we can get over there and pull slash push those trees out of the ground. Because if we can, I'll be really, really, really happy about it. But if not, we might have to turn down the job, which I would rather not do. All right, let's go for the smallest tree first. Let's see. And who? Come on. Oh, we got it. We got it out. Dude, okay, all right. Let's see if we can get the next one. And boom. Got that one. All right. Hey, this is actually turning out to uh, to be really good. Let's get this next one. Get it? Not bad. Dude, okay, we might actually... We might actually have a successful landscaping company on our hands. Come on. This one, I don't know if it's going to come out. Yeah, that one, uh, that one we might need a slightly bigger machine for. But we did clear out the other uh, the other stuff around this, uh, this main tree. It looks like a birch tree, maybe. But the fact that we were able to clear out around it so easily and so quickly, I think, honestly, yeah, I'm down for that. Heck, I'll even throw in a little bit of extra yard mowing to go with it. Oh, you want that one gone too? Oh, sweet. I can, I, I can get that one out for you. It's a little big, but we got it. Not bad at all. All right. So the first one, uh, okay, there we go. I was like, so the first job was mainly just, you know, a mowing job. And then this one was removing, um, invasive trees that they didn't want. But either way, I would say it was a great first day for our brand new landscaping company for sure. Now, let me know if you guys would like to see more of TC's landscaping adventures, and if you would like to see this virtual uh, in-game company grow, and uh, if you would, let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below. But that is going to do it for this one, y'all, and if you enjoyed this video, make sure to let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below. Hit that like button if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're new, and I We'll see y'all next time. Talk to y'all later.